What is up guys, more Nick is Spud here bringing you guys some more Borderlands modded playthrough. And last time we pretty much finished off the Dr. Ned DLC. So we are pretty much done with that. We found ourselves some new little friends in the form of a the damn day show. And the Bamba, which I'll actually take out because I guess I use it. The special effect of it is a Venom uh, melee. That's why it kind of has that high melee damage. So we gotta definitely fight some regular enemies. Uh, what else did we find in that recording? Here we found a zero point. We found another Apollo. I think we found a Kraken, which we can't use yet. And a Steel Wood. I can actually show those off quickly. So we found a Steel Wood. And the Kraken. So we are gonna head out to the next DLC, which, in terms of our playthrough, is gonna be Tartar Station, which is where the Claptrap DLC resides. Or the Robot Revolution. The moment we step out, we are going to be greeted by a. There you go. Our story began when the Hyperion Corporation decided they'd had enough of the treasure hunters. With the vault on lockdown, they had served their purpose. And now they were a drain on the economy. Why pay full price for weapons when you can take a five finger discount off the nearest corpse? Hyperion was looking to clear up the drain, but those guys were one tough airball. I thought you said the treasure hunters were the drain. Now we're the airball? Uh, well, yes. Uh, you see, the treasure hunters were blocking the flow of, uh, uh, and the grimy buildup of money and, uh, This metaphor stinks. Uh, uh, shut up! Point is, Hyperion had a plan. The treasure hunters could handle all manner of beastie, bandit, and battalion, but they weren't expecting... The interplanetary ninja assassin claptrap! This clap trap was programmed to take our boys out indirectly. Trapping, poisoning, spreading catty rumors around town. Nothing was off limits. He was smart. Too smart. He looked around and didn't like what he saw. Clap traps being subjugated, humiliated, obliterated. What we call programming, he called slavery. So, he rallied his fellow clap traps and turned them against their corporate masters. What started as a rebellion became a revolution and take a wild guess who Hyperion called to clean up the mess. Alright, so yeah, that is it. Claptrap DLC. And now guys, I have done my research in terms of part combination. So I think we'll actually be able to find some perfect part combination see. weapons. Ooh, I wonder what this does. With the help of Grimjaw, of course, he kind of taught me all the little things I should know about park combinations. Oh yeah. Good to go, man. Let's just head on into the Hyperion dump. Gotta find some plat components. Hopefully we find ourselves some pretty good pro lessons. I haven't had a good RNG today. So let's just see if we can find anything. Let's actually try out this Mamba as well, since we can do it now. I'm going to melee him. Oh, it is Venom. That damn, it's pretty strong too. Look at that damage! The Mamba! Boom. God damn. That 300% melee damage though. Seeming a bit crazy. Here we go. Let's go pick up this part. Let the clap trap start to spawn in though. Let's get this damnation going. Probably one of our stronger weapons, if I do say so myself. It. Can't mess with the damnation. Come on. 
how strong it is. Hello, bitches. Oh, come on, you can't mess with the damnation. It's so LP. See, now that's Hyperion grade material three right there. Pretty nice. That dot G, pretty much the dot G and the crimson signify that it's a material grade three weapon. That it's usually the best ones. Okay, what the hell? Okay, so many clap traps. I got one shot though, holy shit. Oh, you don't. I think this gun is too strong at the level that we're at. Hey, what is that? Equals 0.3. That's material grade 3 us and us. Put the prefix on it, it's terrible. Oh, prefix as in like the dot G, whatever it should have. 3D glasses. Okay. Oh. One shot. One shot, everything right on the shot. Get some ammunition. Ammunition is sufficient. I don't want to pick that up though. Try to lap so we can just get around faster. Right. Oh, baby, give me a legend. Oh, we're not going to get a legendary, but. Catalyst. Grenade though. We gotta head out to. All the way over to here. Oh, my frame rate dropped though. I think it's. God damn it. I should not have recorded in the same hard drive as my goddamn game. It's gonna seem a bit laggy now. Please, little buddy. You can't mess with me. Especially with the lay laps. Wing. Oh, god damn it. Alright, let's switch up some stuff because everybody says that I use the same thing. Oh, I can tell totally forgot. Um, Grimjow actually gave me one of his criminals, since he has like a bunch of them. Uh, we were playing, we did an Underdome together, which I think this video would probably come out after that. But he gave me his criminal, so I put it into, he gave me a, I was like, I'll play, I was playing on like a different character so I can match his level. But then I just transferred it over to here. So, cause we kind of got our criminal disintegrated because of the whole entire patch. But it's alright. I should be using the hammerhead more. Let's go. You know what gun we haven't used in a while? Our Annihilator. Not that one. Do we have a Dodge G Annihilator? Uh -oh. We have weapon grade material to an annihilator. That one and this one. That's interesting about this one. How beautiful this thing is. It's amazing. Can't mess with the annihilator. Look at it. You can't, you cannot mess with this damn weapon here. Okay. 
we're already out of enemies. Look at them bowing down to me. Oh, what is that? A PPZ 570 Wait a second. Wait a second. Holy shit. I don't know if it's a perfect part combination, but it's a fucking amazing gorilla. Ooh, God damn. It looks beautiful. Pretty much it's PPZ570 slash V3. So if you guys don't know the PPZ570, it's kind of like the best prefix you can get for a semi automatic sniper. And then the slash V3 means. That's a weapon grade material 3 Vlad off. So, definitely tell this thing is gonna put in some damn work. So, might as well use it. Look at it. Look at it. It's amazing. God damn, that reload speed is amazing too. Kinda nice to know what a like perfect car combination is now. So it's not like we're going through it blindly. Might as well use the criminal. Turn over it's here. Yeah, I did not see that guy there. Goodbye. All right, so I gotta explain the criminal again because I kind of fucked it up when I explained it last time. Pretty much what the criminal does is it has three certain effects on it. So one, every time you get shot, your magazine size increases. It only increases once though, so don't get your panties in the hose. Every time you kill an enemy, your fire rate increases. And then the last effect is that when your shield is depleted, you have infinite ammo on the gun for a short amount of time. So it's definitely like an all-round good weapon to carry around with you. It's pretty much good for any type of situation. We gotta head on back now, so that we can kill. Oh, there's some enemies over here we can go. There's a Chester. We want him. Where do we get ourselves? I think that's an agonizer. No, it's an emulator. Ooh! Guess what, guys? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? That is actually a kind of perfect part combination emulator right there. Please tell me I am right, Grimjow, if you are watching this. I'm pretty sure I'm right. If it is a TPM, TMP8, which is the best on a, what do you call it, a um, machine pistol, and then a C Cobalt is weapon grade material 3 for Maliwan. I'm thinking it's better to have a combustion emulator. But I'm pretty sure this one is pretty damn good. Any enemies over here? Here we go. Look at it. Look at it! Just burns them. That's a pretty good magazine size, too. Grimjaw also informed me of hybrids, which I actually have one. Never realized it when I actually picked it up. I think I should have, like, looked at it, looked at it better. But it's in our shotguns category. You guys wouldn't believe it. What? Where is it? It's not that. Uh, yeah, it is this one. A terrible hammerhead, but. Look at that magazine size. 20. Guys, 
that is a hammerhead combined with a bulldog legendary. So it is a hybrid. Now uh, there's I think three more other hybrids. If I remember correctly, one is a Laylapse with a troll. So Laylapse legendary combined with the troll legendary. Um another one is the Mantis combined with I can't remember. Tell us how it is. Hold up. I have it written down here. Oh, uh, Laylapse Troll, Antelope, Hornet, and Mantis Raven. Raven, as in terms of the Mantis, actually has increased has a higher magazine size, and I'm not sure what the other one. Well, the Antelope has the Hornet's ability, and I'm not sure what the other one. I'm not sure what the other one does. So I'm not sure what the Laylapse Troll is. Maybe it's the Laylapse has some... What is it? Ammo region, I think? Cause I don't remember what the Troll does. I think the Troll actually has um, health region. If I remember. I'm not 100% sure though. I don't like this guy. Uh, nobody else. That's her hammer head. There it is. We can't go one episode without ha using the hammer head, guys. As you guys remember in the last recording. Oh man, that hammerhead has some luck on us. Honestly. Like, once we pulled out the hammerhead, everything was dropping. Why? Because the hammerhead loves us. We can actually sell some stuff. So we'll just scroll all the way down. Sell all that. Sell that. And I think that's it. Alright. Is this the one with the increase? No, it's not. Damn it. You find that increased um, ammo capacity or the ammo SDUs. I need to get the one that gives me nine grenades so that we can use a very special grenade mod that we have. And I'll go through here. Greetings. This is Mr. Blake, Senior Vice President in charge of mercenary relations and tourism for the Hyperion Corporation. You know, the company whose troops you just ruthlessly slaughtered. I like that. It shows initiative. Meet me at the Hyperion Tourist Information Center, and I'll make it worth your while. See, I can tell a gun is good by the name, which is not by the weapon part. I haven't studied weapon parts enough. I know the best weapon parts to have are like Type 5 and Type 4 weapon parts. Other than that, I don't know. I can't really tell anything. Let's just go on here first. So we can meet up with Marcus. It's a beautiful day on Pandora. Well, apart from the mechanical Armageddon, Marcus.